Hi, my name is Stefan Beslow and I'm from the Developer Tools team. I have some code to show you and it's going to be really exciting. But first, I have to say you can't use it. Not right now, at least. So why do we even talk about it? Well, you're going to see some uptake of this feature fairly soon. Uh, you're going to see the code maybe in BC apps and other places. So this is important that you know what it's all about. And maybe we can also inspire you to use this feature in your projects as soon as it opens. So what is it? It's resources in applications, meaning you can ship your resources with your application. Get the resource for that specific application, for that specific version, ship with that specific app file. There are many other ways you can do this. But this is another tool in the toolbox for making sure that you can ship certain resources with your app. And now you can do it with just one single file, the app file. Let's look at it. So here I have an app and it's fairly simple. It doesn't have a lot in it, but it has a new folder called .resources. In that folder, I have placed a few resources. I've placed a CSV file containing some data, it could be demo data, it could be some initialization data or whatever. And I have a picture in the images folder. I also have a page here with some action and it's going to be utilizing the new function in the nav app type called get resource. The get resource function takes in a resource name, which is the file name, including the relative path from the root of the resources folder. So in this case, the default data CSV. And it's going to take the stream that I want this resource to be put in so I can start using it. So after calling this function, I would have the data from the, this file in the stream and I can start using it. This is fairly simple. I also here have an action that will download an achievement. This is implemented in the way I would do it prior to this feature. Maybe I would have a image label here a base64 encoded text string that contains the image. And naturally, I can easily see that this is the right image. So I can read it from the image stream or image text into a, an out stream, change that into an in stream, and then you can download that one. With the new functionality for resources, it is much easier, as you can see here. I get the resource, the path, and the name, in the resource name and the stream I want to put it in. When I get that, I can then download that. And if I want to make sure that it's the right one I'm pointing to here, I can just click the image over here and it works. I can see the image right here and I'm sure it's the right one that I'm actually sending to the client or the customer using this. Okay, so did any of you wonder about this dot resources folder? Well, I did. Well, it's just the default. You can actually specify many resource folders. Like here, I'm going to include more resource folders. I have an image folder here, which has the images. I have a data files folder, which has the data. And then I have the old resources file. Now, there's a caveat to having multiple folders. Uh, as resource folders, and that is that the resource name, including the path relative to the resource folder, must be unique within the extension. So if I try to compile this extension now, it will fail. And why would it fail? Well, if I look here, it says that there are multiple resources with the name default data CSV and multiple resources with the name images slash achievement PNG. So why is that? Well, I have the images achievement PNG here. So this is the same name as it is up here. And again, here with the data, I have the root for the data files and then I have the default data. I have the root for the resources and the default data, same name. So these cannot exist in the same extension. In this case, because I wanted to move the whole thing to a different set of folders, I can just remove the old dot resources folder and Maybe delete this one. And then we should be able to compile. As simple as that. Having the ability to put resources into your app is a great new feature. It does come with some limitations. Let's have a look at those. So there are some size limitations to begin with. 
So the max size of a resource is 1,024 kilobytes. The max size of all the resources in your extension is 16 megabytes. And the max number of resources you could have in a single extension is 256. The resources that you put in uh, your extension are read-only, naturally, because you cannot alter an app package after it has been shipped. So they're read-only. The resources are only available from the extension that owns the resource. So if you want to share resources with other extensions, you need to write some kind of logic that will expose that data stream to the other extensions. In the end, the server determines what is good and what is not good. So if you don't have, um, or if your file extensions are not valid on the server that you want to deploy it to, or the MIME types checks will fail, or the virus scanning will detect something, then you will not be allowed to publish. So make sure that you understand these limitations. But other than that, this is a nice new feature, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to enjoy it. Thank you for watching.